to another special edition of Channel 6 Scoreboard. I'm Kelsey Williams and I'm joined by Mitchell Morgan, Michael Deer. Now guys, let's mix it up a little bit. Mm. We talk about UCA all the time, but who's going to get more wins this season? UCA or the University of Arkansas? Uh, <laughs> well, I don't just, want to cause controversy, but... No. Let's just take a second. We'll go through UCA's next four games. I mean, they have at Northwestern State. That's a toss-up. Um, Abilene Christian at home. Abilene Ugh. Christian surprised UCA last year and beat them. Yep. I'm going to throw a little flashback. I did pick that a couple weeks in advance. You know, they believe me. <laughs> I'm still going to say they're going to win that one. That was um, just under the radar for they them. They play at Houston Baptist. Okay, mm -hmm. Houston Baptist is a team that's new to the conference, so UCA should be able to win that one on the road. And then at home at McNeese State, and that's kind of a toss-up. And then if you look later on the schedule, they play Southeastern Louisiana and Sam Houston State. And Stephen F. And Stephen F. Austin at home. Um, Coach Conk. Yeah. The thing Rematching. about UCA is that I feel more confident saying they can win more games in Arkansas just because I think they'll beat Houston bad. This I think they'll beat Northwestern. That's two more wins. When I can see Arkansas literally only winning one more game, and that's against UCA. Well, you know what confuses yeah. yeah. me? I remember you telling me the other day that Arkansas has the biggest offensive line with in the average all of, of co all college and NFL football. Yep. And they What's, what are they doing they with could it? not <laughs> run the ball until the last game against Texas Tech where Alex Collins had 28 carries for 160 plus yards. Injuries have hit the Razorbacks hard. UCA's had a couple, of, I mean, Courtney Whitehead being a season injury. The Razorbacks have a ton of injuries. But you know what annoys me when people talk about injuries? They talk about injuries like they don't have a plethora of other plays that they can come right. in. You're the University yeah, of Arkansas. But it's not, it's not really, it's not the fact that he's not playing anymore. Sometimes it's like the mentality that he had on the field or the leadership he brought on the, to the team, it kind of just puts him in a, I don't know, I guess a down mood. I mean, if you look at when New England lost Tom Brady or, you know, just huge players when they lost, it's kind of a more of a mental thing than it is an actual physical physical thing him being there. But back to the question, so I think at worst UCA probably in their next four games splits two and two. I think this is their chance with the competition they played and I think they're going to get things rolling. They're going to get a few home games for once. That's great too. The Razorbacks, you are in Dallas. That's basically in a road game. It's a home for Arkansas, but in Dallas against A&M this weekend, on the road at Tennessee, on the road at Alabama, and then home against Auburn. Auburn's not the team that everybody thought they were going to be preseason. They've actually made a change to the starting quarterback position. But A&M, Tennessee, and Alabama, I think that's three losses for the Hogs because right now they don't, they don't have the depth of the running back position that they have. They've already lost Jonathan Williams. Now Cody Walker's out. They have a true freshman who's a backup. The offensive line has not played up to their standards. Receivers are banged up left and right. Brandon Allen thought he would have improved from last year to this year. There's still some throws that he's not made. And well, uh, what about the Australian kicker from uh, the University of Arkansas? What happened to him? Sam mm -hmm. Irwin Hill, he's gone now, yeah, but and we could I mean, we could use him on special teams for the Razorbacks are struggling. UCA, I'll give props to Coach Campbell and UCA. They got the best kicker in the state last year at the state of Arkansas. They got Matt Cummins from Conway High. He was the best kicker in the state. That's a huge get for UCA. Razorbacks, their special teams have struggled. They could really use a good place kicker right now. UCA's special team is actually really stepping up. They are. Year. They're playing well. I think they're really playing well. And they have the most explosive player. Jatavius Wilson is arguably the most explosive, explosive player in the state with what he can do with the ball at any given time. And he doesn't let his size affect that at all. That's right. And either, so, so overall, the Hogs only won one game right now. UT Martin, I think, is the only one that you can circle right now that the Hogs should be favored in, that should win the rest of them. It's the SEC West. It's tough, and you've got... The SEC East team sprinkled in there with Tennessee and Missouri. Missouri. Yeah. So I feel like that could be a win. The Hogs, I think at best right now, unless something, I don't know. Dressing. Can, yeah, last year <laughs> the A&M game, yeah, mm, had, yeah. the Hogs were blowing them out. They had a couple of penalties that brought it back. Touchdowns were called back, and A&M ended up winning in overtime. And that was like A&M started off really hot last season and then cooled off. The Hogs have started off poorly. Maybe there's a chance, but yeah. it's crazy, and it seems like every year the LSU game, no matter how bad Arkansas is, that game true. seems always a little closer than people are projected to be. So, all right, let's hone in on UCA for a second. They're coming off a bye week. They play Northwestern State, who are 0 and 3 after taking a loss against their first conference opponent, Southeastern Louisiana. Give me a score prediction. I'm going to say UCA wins uh, by 10. I think it's going to be close uh, for the most part till the end, but I think UCA is going to pull away and win 31 to 21. I have the Bears winning 31-30, and it will be special teams, just like I just talked about. Either Dinker or Matt Cummins will hit the field goal to win inside two or three minutes to go. Jeez, Defense close, is going to make a good stop. Close games there. I'm going to yeah. say Taylor Reed's going to step up, first conference game. He's going to show out. They're going to win by two or three touchdowns, and he's going to rush for a touchdown as well. Ooh, so close. big predictions here. Stay tuned for more Channel 6 scoreboard and special editions of every other sport.